people want an answer to a question that scientists cannot answer. Who is doing this to me? Because people need to know who's to blame. We are in an era of conspiracy theories. In South Africa, we had some agreement, at, at least during the pandemic and in the previous epidemic of HIV and TB, between government, society, and scientists. And I think that more than ever, we have to build on that because otherwise, we come to a very dangerous situation that that scientists, when they highlight a threat, yeah, they are kind of ignore, and then the threat will will grow. Everyone's voice is equal. I and mean, that's the democracy of social media. A person with zero knowledge of virology, their opinion is as valid as a professor of virology who's been studying pandemics for 40 years. The conspiratorial comments are the ones that get amplified. And the problem is that it's being done deliberately. It is fundamentally a challenge against science. It's an undermining of science. And that is the big challenge that all of us are going to have to face.